Okay, so the end of the year is right around the corner, and I want to reveal to you guys the theme for 2022. But before we do that, you know me, I need to give it a little context. When you ask the average American Christian, what does the word invitation mean to you? They usually think of one of two things. First, an invitation to a relationship with Jesus. We call that the altar call. And the second one is often associated with inviting somebody to your church service. I think we could add a third definition for the word invitation in the church context. You see, when Jesus invited people to become his followers, he was not just inviting them to receive good things from him, but he was inviting them to become like him. So for example, when Jesus lowered himself down to the level of a slave so that he could minister and love on the people who were pushed to the sides of society, his followers assumed that they were being invited to do the same. When Jesus walked through Samaria, one of the most avoided places in Israel, the disciples assumed that one day they're going to have to do that exact same thing and talk to the people in Samaria. And when Jesus died on the cross, he sacrificed himself for the sake of love of humanity, both the people who he considered friends and enemies. And so the disciples realized one day they're going to have to do the same. So yes, when you read the Bible, the word invitation can mean you're being invited into a religious community or being invited into a relationship with Jesus. But more often than not, invitation often means whatever God has done for you, you're going to replicate that and do it for somebody else. So if I were to simplify, this is what it means. Jesus loved on his people in his life, then those people loved on the people in their lives, and so on. It's like paying it forward. Whatever Jesus has done for you, go and do that for somebody else. So as we were meditating on this, the pastors, we came up with this idea of ripples. Yes, the theme for 2022 is ripples. 2,000 years ago, Jesus stepped into this earth and created the biggest ripple ever. And the people who were in his vicinity experienced and transformed because of that ripple. And 2,000 years later, Westlake Community Church is invited to create ripples of our own. And if you look deeply into these ripple makers of history, if you want to call it that, you'll discover that they didn't consider this a duty. It wasn't an obligation. As they grew and matured, they just naturally started creating ripples that reflected the glory of Jesus. So as we enter into 2022, we're going to begin reading the second half of the book of Acts. And here we're going to talk about Paul, Paul the Apostle. He is a prime example of someone who experienced the ripple of Jesus, and as he matured in his faith, he started to naturally create ripples around him. So if you could imagine, from 2,000 years ago, there was this chain from Jesus to somebody else to somebody else, and eventually got to you. And so like a good Christian, you took that blessing, you pass it on to somebody else around you. But in some cases, that chain ends right there. And so what this theme implies is that we're going to reach out to these people and love on them and then invite them to continue the chain. Not out of obligation, but out of maturity and virtuous love. And then we're gonna pray that the ripples that we create next year is gonna go from here to our families, to the workplace, to the ends of the earth. We are incredibly excited about this journey that we're gonna partake in in 2022.